Thank you. I'm very flattered and honoured. Uh, but of course, it's not just for me. It's for these lovely people that I have with me who are Jonathan Kidd. They are Pablo. Yo. They are Seb. And they are the Benches. And they are fantastic. And this is the last part of the show of the Chelsea fan cast. And then we can all go and have a very long lie down because I think Jonathan's pinged both of his hamstrings again. <laughs> and Every I time I talk to you, Chidge, I ping him. You do? Yeah, I can't <laughs> help it. There's so much activity going on. I, I think I should obviously be very worried about that. Uh, anyway, this is the part of the show uh, where our lovely little mate, Chelsea Chadder, talking of uh, 30s type characters, he always reminds me of a 30s type character for some reason. It's the name, Chadder, Chadder isn't it? Chelsea Chadder. Uh, anyway, yeah. Chelsea Chadder, he does stats, and if you follow him on Twitter, as you should do, then you'll know that he comes up with some absolute gems. And we like to read out a few of his well-prepared stats on the show every week. But what we do first is we have a little Chelsea Chadder sting. I never knew Chelsea had so much history. Brilliant stuff. Now, uh, what we now do is that we hand over to our resident voice ar voiceover artiste. <laughs> and his name is Jonathan Kidd. And he Hello. likes to read. So, Jonathan, pray tell, what style of voiceover are you reading the stats out I'd this like week? to do it uh, in the style of my, um, my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle, who was um, uh, a very mm -hmm. posh Belfast man. My goodness me, the yeah. mind boggles. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and he spoke um, like this, he would say. On the 21st of September 1976, <laughs> Chelsea's first overseas player, Niels Middlebow, passed away. <laughs> <laughs> this could get boring, couldn't it? <laughs> no, no, carry on. On the 21st it. of September 1994, <laughs> David Rocastle scored his last Chelsea FC goal. <laughs> On the 21st of September 2013, John Mikel Obi ended his 260 Chelsea FC goal drought bored with that already. Let's do something normal. <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm speechless. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm <laughs> ready. You're not, you're, not, speechless. you're not falling asleep like you were last no, week. No, no, I'm just I was speechless. Doing, uh, I was doing the um, Caravaggio one, was I? I was on during the week, actually, in um, uh, something called Raiders of the Lost Art, which has been on... Uh, you did the Channel 4 Arts program last week, that's why I fell asleep. No, no, asleep. that was, that was um, Sky Arts 1. Oh, right. This is on yesterday. What, what was this one, then? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's more intense, because okay, it's, it's about come marathon on men. <laughs> um, on the 21st of September 1970, Chelsea FC won their 1,000th competitive match. I'm wrapped. Sunday was Chelsea FC's 2,000th away game in league football. John Terry's match against City was his 600th for the club. And now, the stat of the week. I can't bear the tension, Jonathan. John Terry, JT himself, is playing his 23rd Chelsea FC game against Man City. No player has played more <laughs> against Man City than this. <laughs> wow. I, I'm, I'm almost speechless again. I'm almost speechless again because it's kind of like... It, it's, it's like being in the presence of Sir John Gielgud or something. No, he's more like that. Gielgud. Yes, he was. It was yeah. like that. For more Chelsea stats and history, go to www.chelseachatter.com and follow me. <laughs> follow me <laughs> on Twitter at Chelsea Chatter. <laughs> oh, brilliant, mate. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. You are such a lovey. You are such a lovey, but that was... Yes, that was I am a complete and utter lovey. That was so I've funny. I've been called worse. I know, and uh, oh, that, that, was, that was great. I on do your love eight, it. On your head, on your head, on your head. I've got my glasses oh, on. Oh, of course you have. On my head. Oh. <laughs> on my knee. <laughs> on my hamstring. I shall keep... I shall keep. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, don't do a hamstring, Jonathan. Oh, Excuse done. me, we have... We have need Call some decorum. Here. It's about to be our new segment. Uh, <laughs> now, for you lot out there who've forgotten what the hell's going on, like I usually do, we do have a little bit of a news roundup, but we like to have a little bit of a news roundup sting first. Here it is. <laughs> there we go, we're back, and it's now time to be serious because it's time for the news. Uh, one of these days, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a, a thing like the old two Ronnies did. You remember they used to read the news? Yes. Yeah, that was good. Over to me and over to you. That's right. We'll do that. And, and I'll, get, I'll, I'll get the, our, our new uh, co-presenter, I suppose we call them. I don't know. They're twi the Twitter social media person. I'll get them to wear glasses too. And we can well, be the... She is. She's a Twitter social we media can be, person. We can be the two Ronnies or something mm -hmm. like that. Anyway, well, you back the, to me. You could be Ronnie. She could be the Ronette. Ah, because it is a girl. Yeah. It is a girl. What? 
Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, being, I'm already being informed by the clever people in the gallery that I've got one of the news items wrong. But anyway, and on with the news, nevertheless. Okay, news Inside. time. Right, first of all, the beautiful game. Uh, they are a band. They are a very good band, uh, not least because my wonderful friend, Pablo, is their fantastic bassist. Uh, but also, we love them all, really. Jace and Lowell and uh, Neil and... Uh, the other one, the guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I'm always... He's an yeah, artifact, he so it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, look, there we go. There's the picture of the artwork. Drunken Blues is their new single. It is absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit of a change of direction. Uh, it's out on Monday the 29th on iTunes, Spotify. Where else, Pablo? Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much every single online sort of digital. Platform, all digital platforms. Is it a bit like you two? They, it's just on your yeah. iTunes. Oh, no, you, have to, you have to buy it. Or, yeah. uh, You're not no, dumping it free. Yeah. People like you. And, and Amazon and Google Play, I'm reliably yeah. afford. Can now, I say that I've seen them live and they're fantastic. They are. I've seen them live a few times. They're brilliant. Fantastic. They really are good. Uh, now, they have, uh, they've, they've seen you live, Jonathan, as yeah. well. But we'll be on to that in a minute. Uh, there is more beautiful game stuff to get out of the way. Like, they've also got a fantastic video that uh, was apparently uh, directed, written and filmed by Ross Mooring. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, maybe, maybe we can get it on the show next week. Or something. We'll try and get it on the show next week. Yeah, that, that's not a bad idea, actually. Um, it's a great video. If you want to go and see their video, it's very funny. It's good. It, it is good. It's got Pablo in it and the boys and Ross. Uh, but basically, just go to YouTube and search for the beautiful game Drunken Blues. Now, the other thing of great importance is they are playing a gig this week in the Dublin Castle in Camden. Where are you playing? Uh, when are you playing it? When? When? On Friday night. It's Friday night. Yeah, I think we're on stage uh, about half nine. All right. So Sorry. like, they're, they're yeah. basically a uh, beautiful game on stage, half nine-ish, of fr Friday night in uh, the Dublin Castle in Camden. Doors open at 7.30. Okay, now the other musical thing. We've got very musically talented people on this show because, of course, Jonathan, unbeknownst to many of you, I suspect, is the impresario and the major talent behind the Rudy V's. Are you not, Jonathan? I am. That is me. And what is special about the Rudy V's this week? It's a comedy band, and we've got a video out. It's called King of Thongs. King of Thongs. Yeah. Are you, I, I've seen bits of this video, and, it, and you yeah. are in it in your underpants. Oh, he, he, he is the King of Thongs. I am the King of Thongs. Isn't it? Not, not, not meaning to put anybody off seeing it, but... <laughs> it's very I've had scary. some interesting reviews. I've had, um, oh my God, I wet myself, from some, somebody watching it. Uh, I've had... Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> fabulous. And then I had, it's all a bit minky. It's all a bit minky. Yeah. What were they referring I didn't to? Know what, what does minky mean? I don't even know what it means. Know. I think it's a small monkey. Yes. Said by Peter, every Inspector Clouseau, isn't it? It's a minky. minky. <laughs> anyway, it's all a bit minky. And uh, uh, another one, another one was um, you are well weird. You, are, you is well weird, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. You is. Anyway, yeah. enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you doing a gig soon? Um, no, we're not. But You're we. Not. It, it's on. It, yes. it, somebody's just very beautifully. Uh, and what he's watching the show actually has, has looked at it and has just said, "God could Jehoda." Do you know him? No, I don't. Uh, but he's just, he's just said how um, amazing it is and what a great right. video and a great song. But Lovely. It's, 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 uh, I keep tweeting uh, um, the uh, the reviews to it, so All it right. appears somewhere. Okay, so. well check it out. May on I put Chelsea Fancasters? At, 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 Good in, man. In, in check it out on YouTube, so people, because it is very. They are <laughs> hilarious, funny, and, the, and some very attractive ladies accompany yes, Jonathan. That's, one, that's perhaps that's what the minky means. Anyway, look, enough, because we've got to have a plug for us. You know, I okay. plug everybody else. We've got to have a plug Thank for you. us. It's awards season again, and there are two awards uh, bodies that you can not hopefully nominate us for. The first one is the Football Blogging Awards, which, of course, we won the inaugural one for the best podcast ever, and we had to go to Stockport and get very drunk to pick it up. Uh, now, the easiest way to vote for us in the FBA, is, you can probably see it on the screen. You might need a magnifying glass, though, but it is footballbloggingawards.co.uk. You fill uh, the form for which blog you're voting for, i.e. us, uh, for each and every category. Now, that would be the Chelsea Fancast for uh, the most established blog, the best club blog, uh, the best podcast, and the best video. Uh, okay, so uh, there are four categories you, I reckon you can vote for us in. Uh, any one of those, established club podcast video. You can also vote for the Chelsea Fancast on the Football Blogging Awards Twitter and Facebook accounts. Uh, to vote on Twitter, you simply have to tweet them at the FBAs, that's at the FBAS, saying Chelsea Fancast with the hashtag established or hashtag club or hashtag podcast or hashtag video and uh, on Facebook, uh, on, on either their Facebook page or Campo Retro's Facebook page, there's a form there where you can enter 
very much like you do on their website. So please do that. It'd be nice to even get nominated, let alone win it. Uh, and there's also an even more est estimable uh, award, which is the Football Supporters Federation Awards. Um, now, they, uh, you, can you have to nominate us first, and then I think they have the whole awards thing. But if you can email them, awards at fsf, f for freddy, s for sugar, f for freddy, dot org, dot uk, with your nominations, okay, before 9 a.m. on Friday the 17th of October. And you can nominate us for Blogger of the Year. That would be me. Uh, you can nominate us for the Chelsea Fancast website as the independent website of the year, and you can nominate the Chelsea Fancast as the best podcast and radio show of the year. All of them, of course, we would be incredibly worthy winners in. Now, last bit of news, of course, is uh, at CFC UK. See my shirt? As an official CFC UK Chelsea Guevara shirt. Uh, and there you go. Now, the new issue of CFC UK is out, and of course, you can get it at the home game. You can get it at the Bolton game on Wednesday at the CFC UK stall opposite Fulham Broadway Tube. And of course, you can get it at away games, but it'll be there on Saturday as well for the Villa game. Um, what I would also say is if you can't get it physically, then you can get it digitally by subscribing online at cfcuk.net. And at this juncture, I would like to say well done, Henry Winter, in his brilliant article about what went on with Frank Lampard yesterday. At City, he he quoted uh, the uh, he who must not be named By and name. CFC UK, and he said the influential CFC UK fanzine. So praise indeed. Now I'm afraid we really have to go. Yes, we really have to go. Uh, we'll be coming back next Monday uh, after reporting back on the Capital One game against Bolton and the Premier League game against Villa. I hope we win. You know where to get the show. You've seen it all before. It's on the ChelseaFanCast.com website. Go there. All the details for how you get the show are on there. But I have to go. Brilliant to see you, Seb. See you soon, Church. Brilliant to see you, Pablo. It's been fun. Brilliant to see you, Jonathan. Brilliant. I hope your hamstrings okay. you. recover. Yeah. Brilliant to see you guys on the benches. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves this week. Benches, give us away. Brilliant. Benches. All right, Benches. thank you for listening. See you next time. Until then, keep it blue, keep it carefree, and keep it chels. Up the chels!